So today um, I'm just going to talk a little bit about uh, face yoga. So it's actually just facial exercises, but we love to put the body yoga in front of the face and everything. My name is Anya, so I've been working with the therapist like years ago for a season, and then my hard job. So anyway, now I'm just so, um, we've got about 60 muscles on our face, so that's a lot, yeah? So, yeah, 60 muscles. So, uh, we like to exercise our bodies, but we don't think about our faces. So, but uh, it's actually just the same. Yes, it is. So, you've got the muscles here, your hips, muscle jawline, your cheeks, everything, your forehead. So, um, and it's actually been actually proven to work. So, face yoga has been proven to actually uh, give you this improved look. Um, also increases your collagen and elastic production in the general layer of your skin. And um, yeah, so basically it's been proven to, to help. And that new princess, uh, Megan, Megal. Yeah, so she's actually a huge fan of face yoga and that's why face yoga is actually made it to the news on Channel 7. And actually everybody's not talking about it because she yeah. loves it, so it's like, you know. And actually, you know, she looks quite, she looks quite a lot of age, so, yes. Um, so today we just, so today what we're going to do is we're going to start with a little bit of, um, it's called emotional freedom tapping just to wake up um, our skin. Oh, I forgot, sorry guys. Can we grab a hand sanitizer which you've got? I've got it's the big, yeah, thank you. So we're going to be touching our faces. So, just in your hands. so what you want to do is you want to put a little bit on your hands with your hand sanitizer and then actually like dry it, yeah? When you dry it, that's when you'll kill all the bugs. Um, and then we can start. Then I'll do you a little bit of exercises for different parts and different muscles of your face. And then if we have time, um, I'm going to show you some you. lymphatic drainage face massage. So basically, whoever's attended the Women's Day, it's pretty much the same. But that's okay because I'm just going to see it better because I don't think. Did anybody remember any of the other exercises that I've showed you? Anybody was doing anything? Sophia, which is why she was so young. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But yeah, basically, yeah, it's, it's just hard. It's just hard to get yourself into the routine. It's hard to remember them. It's hard to do it. So when you're doing anything like that, so I want you to remember as well that, uh, you know, beauty comes from within. So. Just accept your imperfections, your pimples, your wrinkles, everything, because at, at the end of the day, you know, people, people don't care about that thing. And you don't want to hang out people that, that think the other way anyway, so that just all works out at the end. And uh, when you're doing it, just, you know, don't think, oh, I have to do it now because I'm old and I have to do this exercises. So that's probably not going to be beneficial in the first place. So just, just relax, you know. Shoulders down, just breathe, just that nice, you know, and then um, just get the most benefits from it, basically. But um, consistency, unfortunately, discipline is the key if you want to get results from face yoga. So yeah, about five minutes each day would be would be great. So another um, way you can also do it, some of the exercises is in the car while you're driving as well. So that's you know you do your puffer fish and you know your other ones. Don't turn your head on anything. Don't cause accidents, but yeah. Do you do breaks? Because I read somewhere, so it's beneficial to actually give your muscles some rest. Yeah. So if you're doing it like in a five days a week, for a couple of days, so what would you do? I would, uh, so say if you have like a event to attend in the month, I probably wouldn't have any breaks because five minutes a day is, is not much, yeah? So yeah, and but what I would do together with facial yoga is actually some self facial massage because that's what's going to actually relax your muscles as well. I can definitely show it next time, Aliona, when probably we're going to run the workshop, yes. which is probably be nice. I can do that. I can do a proper like self-lifting massage for your, for your face, because that's also a technique itself as well, and where you can actually use the oils and, and everything. So, uh, yeah. Okay. So, 
Emotional uh, tapping technique, uh, emotional freedom technique is basically uh, using just to fingers just to tap on those uh, key points on your face. So those key points are um, here at the beginning of your brow, just down here, at the end of the brow. Here. So what you do, you can just take your ring finger and just and just tap it like that. Um, the other one is just underneath your eye on that line here, underneath your uh, uh, lower lip, underneath your chin here, and also under, like just kind of on your clavicle bone here, okay? And just another extra piece of information, so if you have a problem in your life, and your reaction to the problem is really bothering you. So the problem in itself is a problem, but how you react to the problem then, that's it's how it becomes a real problem. So it is believed that if you do that, and you actually like voice your problem, like say like, uh, you know, um, I have a credit card debt or something like that. So, and then you'll, rate that problem from 0 to 10, this is just extra information, not really, it's a piece of yoga, but it's not, but I think it's pretty cool. So, um, as you continue to tap, like, say you've, you've done these points, you know, you're going to get again, 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 like 10 times, it is thoroughly been researched and believed that the severity of the problem, as you do that, and as you repeat, will actually decrease quite significantly. So, you can try it a uh, time later and just see what kind of... Um, results of actually will produce. So another thing to wake up your muscles is just a little bit of a, you know, just a little bit of um, tapping around your eyes just to wake them up because we need to make friends to our faces, we need to, we need to connect our faces because this is not something we normally touch or do anything to except when we go to a beauty therapist or facial or anything like that. So it's a mental direction. Uh, look, I do prefer to go, you know, out, out that way, so like around, um, around this way. Okay. Now, when you guys are tired and you want to have a break from like the exercises, which is probably going to be tight, you can just do this. That kind of just relaxes it a little bit. Okay. So we are going to start from <laughs> jawline. All right. So neck, jawline. This is a problematic area. The production of collagen does reduce with age, so uh, it's unfortunately we can't really reverse it. Well, we can a little bit with yoga and vitamin C, and nutrition, and sleep. Um, okay, so the first one we are going to do is um, <clears throat> kiss the giraffes. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, it's pretty cool. So you basically are um, lifting. So always when you when you do facial yoga, make sure your shoulders are relaxed and make sure you don't tense your forehead at any time. Yeah. So relax your lift your um, chin up, lift your head up, and then you're like doing a kiss up, pretending like you're kissing a drop. So like this. When you count to five or ten, so one, two, three, four. Five. So we're going to just count to five as this is just as a short time, so I'll try to grab as much as we can in this, but yeah. And then you just, and then you just uh, relax after that, then you lift it again. One, two, three, four, five. So you can already feel, yeah, how this is actually working. The next one to do is we're going to retract our jaw forward. So your lower jaw retracts forward, so like this. And then you turn your head to the left and right. Uh, One, two, three, four, five. stretch your neck at the same time. So actually you pull out your hand like that. You, you turn your head to the to the right, retract the jaw, 
and, and do the same thing. And then you can actually turn your head as well a bit. And then down. So that way you get like a nice stretch as well, as well as, you know, um, tensing these muscles young. Okay? Relax, come back to the center, the other side now. Yes, because we are pulling faces. It's, it, this, is, this is the most, not the funniest one. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the car. I've had some interesting uh, people looking at me, but you know, whatever. Okay. That way. So, okay, so we've, we've got that. The next one is, um, I guess the next one is like, <laughs> you know, some girls have like resting, like, sad faces, what we call it resting beach faces, like, if you're, if you're not smiling, people come up, what's wrong? I'm like, nothing's wrong, it's just like, I just hide this way. So, to create that little Mona Lisa smile, what you can do is you can, like, open your mouth, get your lips a little bit in, inwards, like this. You have to stick your tongue out, next. And then we're turning our tongue to the right for a few seconds and then to the left, like this. So this pose is called Yanyu face. And it kind of creates this, you know, um, natural look of Hate that same people. <laughs> like, say so if you wake up and you like Jesus, you know. But if you do that pose, actually, your face wouldn't necessarily tell that you actually feel like Jesus. Like this kind of thing. Um, the next one is good for that uh, jaw as well. Is actually trying to touch your nose with your tongue. So you just relax, okay? Shoulders down, and then trying to touch your um, nose with your tongue, like this. And then you hold it. You can hold it up to 10 seconds. <coughs> Five, and that's relax. So you can actually feel this is like really good for the double chin. It's really good for the double chin. Always, when you're doing this exercise, it's always like your chin is just like a neutral position. So basically, again, so you're trying to touch your nose with your tongue. And you feel, and you feel that there. So really try to get out. Get out. Uh, next one is your um, resistance exercise as well. So that's building those jaw muscles as well. So you're making up fists like that under the chin. And then you resist for five seconds. So you're pressing with your chin onto your fists. One, two, three, four, five. Relax. Basically, uh, set of five for each exercise. Again, if you you know feel like it's a bit much, you can just sort of relax you know, your. Yeah. So five five times each one, five seconds. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So the next one will be um, blowing candle exercise. It's also really good. So you're taking your palms and you're putting it on the side of your pulling a little bit towards the ears and then we're gonna blow a candle ten times so three My turn. so each time yeah you, you just go up it's like you have to do this with a couple of don't be it yeah Actually, I thought about it, look at how, how can you combine yeah. yoga with like twice a Yeah, it's not extreme fitness. Oh, yeah. Another one to do is your, the famous one in face yoga is called Tink O. So, what you're going to do is you're going to open your mouth in like O shape, like that. And then you're going to look up, but without, uh, you can. If you tend to like um, 
without uh, making the lines on your forehead. So you can actually hold your forehead like this. And you also hold it for about 10 seconds. And um, some girls, when they look up, they do this. So you can actually retrain your forehead not to do that. So to do that, you actually just have to, for the first few times, consciously hold your forehead, pull it up a little bit, and then trying to open your eyes wide. And you're not like you're not tensing your forehead. You're just opening your eyes really wide. Yeah. And if you do that like every day for a few times, that way you restrain. Actually, you're, when you open your eyes wide, you're like, where's the money? Like, you just, you know, um, you know <laughs> then actually, my port now is not, it's actually not. Like, I have to consciously think how to do that. I don't do that. Like, I just don't. Yeah. You, you, you can also look down. When you do that. So, yeah. And that's how you retrain your muscles. Uh, okay, so that's the jaw. I hope I love it. So the next one is for the, to get the fuller cheeks. Get the fuller cheeks. So some people are already cheeks are quite full, so the next exercise will be for that. But to get the fuller cheeks, so you you open your mouth, you are pulling your both lips inward like this, and then you widen your smile a little bit. So like this. Uh, I guess. Yeah, that's the one for the car. It's really good. You can also help you with your tongue. Yeah, and then you can combine. Well, don't turn your head in the car, but you can combine like this exercise with the jaw one as well. So you uh -huh, and then turn your head as well, like this, and do in the car. <laughs> you see? So you've got all your muscles like these when muscles you are working your mastoid and jugular and whatever it is. They're all working and and you choose them. Okay? And then the other side is okay. so, The next one is kind of um, to slim uh, down the cheeks. So your Move your chin forward and you're putting your lower <coughs> lip over the upper lip, like this. And then you lift the corner of your mouth and you smile. And you can also stick your tongue out as well, so like this, of course. Like really work, like really work. Really want to smile? Hold it. <laughs> you can you can stuck all stuck it out as well. Just what you what you feel like. But even if you put your tongue inside your mouth already up, it's actually already that in itself tightens the, the muscles. Yeah. Okay. Got that one? So this is your jaw is tension, you know, the tension in the jaw after that. So what you can do is just massage your jaw a little bit. I can do this as well. Alright, so uh, the next one is a little bit of the smoker's line here. Yeah? So what we're doing is we um it's that one is quite simple. So we're just putting our lips inwards, pushing them firmly together, and then we can turn to the left and right as well. So like this. This is a 
good one for the car. Oh, except for Jenny. That's how you check for the blind spot. <laughs> yeah. Okay, that one's quite easy and simple. The nasal labial folds is the puff fish exercise. So it's also quite easy, excellent for the car as well. So you just um, lots of air in your cheeks like this. And then we move the air from left to right, from up to down. So like this. to your lower eyelid, but you're not tensing the forehead or anything like that, so you, can't, you probably can't see it very well, but you need to feel it, so closing your eyes and then just gluing your upper lid to the lower lid like this, so you're forcing, yeah, you're forcing your eyes to like close, shut, you're not like closing them or anything like that, you know, you're not tensing, but you are tensing that upper one and you can actually feel if you touch it, if you feel how this muscle is actually working when you're doing that. Like that muscle is actually tense. Like it's almost like your eyeball that the muscle there. Yeah. To close and to press, like to forcefully to forcefully press. Yeah. yeah. You press it for five to ten seconds, whatever you can tolerate really at first. quite good so it's called the face the mini facelift exercises so it's gonna help to lift the whole face up a little bit so to, to do that you're doing your we'll do one side first so you're doing your right hand to 45 degree your left hand goes all the way around <coughs> your head like that you're putting your fingers on your eyes like that and pulling them a little bit forward Pull, I mean, up you're pulling it a little bit up like that and then you turn your head to the left well at least you're pulling a little bit there like this and you can also uh, stick your tongue out to the left like this and breathe out at the same time so what's going to happen so you breathe in
breathing. Come back to the center. Relax. It's a good one to do for at least five minutes. Like if you do that one, just that one for five minutes before you go out, like your eyes will be like you did already. Um, left hand to 45 degrees, right hand around your, your head. Pushing your fingers to the end corner of your eyebrow and a little bit on the eye. Reaching it up, breathing in. Tongue out. So anything breathing out is very good basically by default so another one to do is what the, they're doing in New Zealand the eyes <laughs> so they breathe out and go <sighs> so it's like a it's like a multi-benefit you know exercise so you're releasing your muscles you're releasing the tension you're breathing at the same time you're waking yourself up and then you loosen up everything yeah so Again, when you open your eyes, go wide. Again, remember not to not to do this. <laughs> um, bigger, and then another one, Sophia, your favorite one, the wow one as well. That's again to activate your throat chakra. There you go. I've got something today. So you go. You go. Wow. <laughs> <coughs> so again, so breathing out, voice activation. So you know you've got you know there's lots of benefits in, in, in all of this really. Now, did I forget anything in terms of the facial exercises? Probably not. So is it a lot? Probably. Can you remember something? Yeah. Yeah. Something. All right. Do you guys want me to show you the lymphatic? I learned that's going to be really good for you now. So because it's really good for this fluid period. So <clears throat> the lymphatic system is a key part to your immune system, yeah? So it's carried out all the toxins out of your blood and, and out of your body. So very important system, but unfortunately a lot of times very sluggish, okay? Because it's just, it just tends to be. So in our neck and head and face area, we actually have a hundred lymph nodes, which is a lot. So there's a lot behind the ears, uh, uh, the neck here and so it's very good for that uh, headache when you feel like you've got fluid in your in your head or, or face. You know, when you first wake up and you feel puffy, you know, you want that all kind of to drain down. Very good for nasal congestion. So it's actually a really good technique to know. It's also quite easy. So what you want to locate first is your venous angle. So you're turning your head and you find that little notch, the inside one, that's your supraclavicular lymph nodes. So the key to the lymphatic massage is you're going slow and light, okay? Slow and light, and that's the key because it's very superficial to the skin. All the lymph nodes are literally just there. So what you want to do is you want to take maybe like that fingers, or if it's easier, you can even cross cross your palms and do it like that, and you're pumping. So you're pumping it in this kind of motion, and you're doing it probably. Um, one per second or so, slow and light. And you're doing it, so the ideal would be to do it 50 to 100 times on each um, on each part. So, like that. So you kind of inside the clavicle here. And then you're just pumping it. You're pumping it to activate it. So you, what are you essentially doing is you're creating a suction suction outlet for all the above lymph nodes to start draining towards that point because this is your this one there. Okay? The next one you're just taking the palms, moving to the side of your neck, and then just simple, just pressing on the side of the neck, also light, and then kind of kind of down, like almost like pressing it down a little bit, yeah? 
also do it for about 50 times. Okay? After that, you move to the back of your neck. You move to the back of your neck, and you're also doing it like this, and you're kind of pressing almost, almost a little bit down. Ideally 50 to, I mean, if you feel like really congested and you want, you know, proper, you know, one, one hundred times, and you will feel like, at times you might feel like you need to clear your throat up because there's stuff there and your, your ears might pull for something, you know, it's quite, it's quite a powerful thing. The next time you're doing your thumbs in that long and prosperous sign. like that. So you're targeting almost two areas at the same time and then also you're just pressing uh, pressing down slowly. That's your mastoid <coughs> mastoid lymph nodes. Okay. So you've done that for about 50 times and then you're just repeating what you've done before. So you're coming back to the back of your neck again 50 times side of the neck and then you're coming down here as well to your clavicle and you're pumping it out okay. and, um, you can do a little bit of oil with it as i mentioned before so oily skin lacks linoleic acid so it's really good to do it with um, safflower oil um, that's really good for oily skin um, Mm -hmm. Safflower, safflower, yeah, I've got a list here or something. And your, your, your dry skin lacks um, oleic um, acid. So for the oily skin, it's good to use sunflower, safflower, jojoba oil is very balanced. pH. It's very close to the skin, natural pH. Hemp oil, cross hip oil, your grapes oil is just normal kind of skin and for dry skin uh oils rich in oleic acid which is your arg um, argan oil avocado macadamia um, olive oil coconut oil yeah like i mean if you get like high quality fractionated olive oil you know i wouldn't use any cooking coconut oil i mean yeah so olive oil very good for actually for our type of skins but coconut oil i wouldn't use on my face like the cooking but if you get the, the nice, like, I guess, um, yeah, how are we going to time, Yeah, okay, any, any, so, I'm, if you have any questions, just, like, ask me, um, Facebook or anything like that, and I'm on for next week, so I research it for you and find things. Oh, actually, there was, I'm gonna research for the, Symmetry. Actually, just quickly before we finish off, so say if your eyebrow one is like lower than what? Another one, another one high, and you want to correct that. What you can do is when you when you're doing that exercise, when you're opening your eyes wide, yeah, like that, and you're pressing on the forehead, you can actually almost like press one down, one up. If you if you recognize that you've got the and actually that that Japanese uh, face yoga guru uh, Tomiko she her face if you looked at her before she looked it was a side down yeah she had like a symmetry in her face she had like you know um, the jawline was like you know and at 50 she looks better than she was looking at 35 so it's quite uh, I mean I know Asian faces are very different from F-U-M-I-K-O and his last name's up with T, I can't remember, but yeah. Um, and, but there are lots of others, like she's the one that sort of, you know, done that whole yoga concept and it's famous, but there's, if you just do like facial exercises. So. Okay, anything else? But um, just accept and love your beautiful self regardless. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, lymphatic drainage 
massage and it's just oh, face self, face yeah, like, like self, self face and magic face. So when I'm going to do the workshop, I'm going to show you the, uh, the uplifting massage, you know, where you go for the muscles and you're using oil and you're doing all these movements and up and, and it's, yeah. So it's actually really effective and then you don't have to go to, uh, and actually to go to a beauty therapist, not, they just stop, they're not doing that proper half an hour, you know, proper massage. Done before a lot, but now it's the sort of moved machines, and yeah, and it's actually quite hard to find a good proper firm half an hour mass facial massage. So the um, Oh no! Well, I was just saying how now nowadays, like um, a lot of machines are incorporated into the facial, so you know, and not everybody actually not. Thank you very much, guys. Enjoy the rest of your day.